Well, hi guys. I know it's been a while since I've uh, posted up a video. Just been busy, busy. Work and some family issues. And, but uh, I'm going to make a video today of my 2000 Chevy 3500 Dually. What I need to do. So I already did the brakes. Which I should have changed the wheel cylinder. And I didn't. So guess what? I got to go back in to change that, and uh, I'll, I'm going to do a complete from start to finish. Try not to do much editing, but uh, can't get around that. Just to show you how it's done, I looked up on YouTube and really can't find one with uh, specific directions on how to go about it. So I'm going to get my tools and stuff together and uh, we'll get started. Well, hey, first thing, we want to remove the hub cap and uh, Chevy has these uh, center caps that have these plastic caps that screw onto the lug nut and holds this cap on. So uh, I ain't going to bore you with doing all these. And we'll just uh, fast, fast forward a little bit through this. Okay, just went inside and got a band-aid. Busters are pretty good. Should have had a longer breaker bar, but I didn't feel like going and finding it. I remove all lugs in the retainer ring, which is this ring right here. It goes all the way around, which uh, centers up for your uh, hubcaps. Always leave the top one kind of loose so it doesn't fall off. Won't on this because of the, the axle hub, but on the cars or single wheel truck, it can. <coughs> kind of got a cold going here, too. Ain't good. Plus it's uh, probably close to, oh, I'd got to say probably in the 80s right now. Humid. I do got an umbrella up for shade. Okay. Now what we want to do <coughs> is I put an absorbent pad down underneath and 
catch bucket because we're going to remove all these bolts this is a full float axle and once we remove once we pull the axle out axle lube will drip out so <coughs> damn it I did set the emergency brake, but as you can tell, it's not seeming to work too good. So when I'm in there, I'm going to see what the deal is. Probably out of adjustment. know what else I'm probably going to do. Put some rubber gloves on. Probably help so I don't get so too much too dirty. And I really don't worry about it. Now that I got a open cut on my hand, keep crap out of it. And that breaks the seal whenever you give it just a little tap. See how my how it pop back out. Uh, there is no pin to or C clip like in a Chevy 10 bolt, 12 bolt. Uh, this is a full flip. <coughs> no, let that drain a little bit. Remove this, set it aside, don't get it dirty. Okay. I went and got some brake cleaner. I have the wheel cylinder and I kind of was playing around off camera playing around with the, the wheel adjuster the brake adjuster and go to find out it's kind of buggered up so I got a new one what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this up just give it a good washing and uh, then we'll get back at it Now, 
I want to save some for the drum. So about half a can. Let that kind of dry in the process. Uh, I got these brake tools. I don't even know why I brought this out. I ain't gonna need it. That's for your for your springs. So we'll just set that off to the side so it's out of the way. But uh, what I want to do is I want to remove these springs so that I can separate the top of the shoes. And this tool here is to remove and put springs back on. Uh, the removal side has this little lip that there's ramps on and uh, I'll show you how that works. Okay, as you can see the springs latched up over top of this one. Uh, what you want to do is, this is hollow, and you want to take the ramp part, put it, get it behind the spring, like so, and then turn, and it pulls it off, pops it off. Same with this one, it's over the main post. Put it over the post, turn it, and pops it off, which I like. But this one here, it's just more of a anchor for the adjuster. Uh, I can take the bottom part of the adjuster, Let's see if we can aim you down at it here. You can take the adjuster and pull it away from your star uh, to your brake adjuster but the uh, adjustment arm push down on it and that gives it slack to where you can just pull it off uh, you can just leave it hang there if you with that which I'm gonna do um, the spring backing plate that will come off and then you can separate the shoes you can remove your center strut which that's pretty gr grubby. Clean all that up before I put it back on. Uh, like I was saying, that these just sit inside the um, brake cylinder, which you'll reuse these. You don't get new ones with your wheel cylinder when you go buy it. As you can see, I pulled that off. You can see fluid dripping out. So I don't know if that's from when I just washed it or if that's brake fluid. If it's brake fluid, it will be inside the wheel cylinder, the, the rubber seal. And the way you want to test that, um, a lot of them, this one, huh? this one you cannot do that to. I'm thinking that there's nothing in there. there that, it's just wash. I'm not positive. It may be. But it's getting changed anyway. So now we'll go around to the back side. Okay. It's kind of dark. But I, I got a light on it. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty tight quarters to work with. Uh, what I want to do first, I want to remove the brake line. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I am thinking that is half inch or 916, I can't recall. But we'll get to it. Okay, one thing I did notice I don't really like is, as you can see, the brake line comes right out of the fitting and is at a nut at a 90. I don't know why. It should come out so far straight out because this has to turn on the line. Uh, and there's no room for it to back out. So I don't want to bend the line because then I got a possibility of breaking it. The only other way that I can do this is remove the two bolts uh, and then pull the wheel cylinder out and 
put a wrench on it and spin the wheel cylinder off of the fitting. I think I'm going to have to go that route. Okay, trying this one-handed laying on my back underneath the truck. Uh, the bolt is a 10 millimeter. So just to let you know, so if you need to get tools ahead of time, it's easier that way because then you don't have to crawl in and out. Sorry about the camera movement. I'm trying to hold the camera in one hand and use the wrench on the other. I need a small, a small tripod. I had to get one of those gorilla pods. Unless one of you guys want to donate to the channel. I'm going to remove that, set it aside so it don't get lost. And then the other one is back on the other side. Uh, you guys got the idea, so I'm not going to bore you with taking that one out. Okay, so now that I'm back on the outside, I got those two bolts loose. Uh, this is going to be kind of fun to try to get in there to get that brake line off. Um, so but I think I don't think I can spread them out any further we'll take usually if you break them loose it, it, it'll come out but just give it a little bit of that there she is she did move and that brake line is gonna give me hassles uh, So, I can't get in because of the, the the backing plate. Can't get in, get in behind it. Um, I don't know if I. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, I may have to. I don't want to bend that brake line any more than I need to. I can get on there. I can get on it. I did get the right wrench. It's a 9 16 so you want to get a line wrench uh, because they go almost completely around the head of the fitting. Uh, not like an open end where you can round the edges off. And if you do that, you're really in a pickle because now you got to cut the line, probably. Cut it too short, get a new fitting, flare the end of the line, and it's a it's a chore to do, but been there. Uh, but I got a pair of channel locks and uh I'll put these on. There we go. Look at that. That's the old one. What a pain. I'm going to take this little rod, this plug, they, they come with a plug in where the fitting goes, and just a little tip, if you get a uh, wheel cylinder that is like this, that don't have the rubber plug on it, these fit right over top, they just snap right in place, like so, keeps the dirt out of there, learn something new every day, huh? 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and bolt this back in and then I'm going to I got to reposition this line uh, well no I can't because it's not turning so we're going to put it back on this way same way we took it off I guess tighten that it's not it's pretty snug I can tighten that down once I bolt it back up well get that back in place that'll work and now uh, you take the bolts and what I do with it Put anti-seize on them. Because if you're ever back in here again, you will be happy you did. It's just a little dab on each bolt. Set these back here. Because I have snapped these off before, trying to get them out. And I see she's your best friend. You ask any mechanic. So, back underneath. Okay, as you can see, I got the line a little straight. But, I am, I'm going to tighten it down. Put the bolts in, get them tight, tighten that down. And, Hope for the best because I'm hoping I didn't crack the line because then I'm going to be replacing it all the way over to the pumpkin. It ain't nothing new, but it's a pain in the ass. But let me get these bolted in. And as you notice, I got my gloves off again. My hands are sweating like heck in those things. But, uh, Get it bolted in and tighten down. Oh, you got film in? Yeah, I got you on film. Oh no, turn that <laughs> off. Oh, no. Turn that off. My hands are too big and I got the wife oh, doing it. God. Helping me get the bolt in. <laughs> Just keep dropping it in brake fluid cleaner. Oh. Just trying to... <laughs> My hands are so... Fat, I can't get in there, and her hands. <laughs> okay, maybe the fifth time's a charm. Oh, I'm so greasy now. Uh -huh. Get in there. Get in that hole where you belong. You belong there. Go. <laughs> Okay, I need both hands here, so. Well, we done got the bolts in. What a pain. Just no room for my big mitts. But the wife got the bolts started and I tightened everything down, so. Back outside. I know I'm back out here, but, uh. Okay, the. The wife gave me a hand. <laughs> She's funny. Glad she was around. But I am going to loosen this up and replace it with a new one. I'm going the right way, which I wasn't. And whenever you go to replace one of these adjusters, they specifically have one for the left and one for the right because they thread different directions. 
these will self adjust but you're still going to adjust them to the drum once you uh, put the brakes all together I could remove that spring and make it easier on myself it's been a hard journey anyway so I might as well just make it harder so as you guys can see this one tooth is bent it sits the, the brake shoe sits in there in that groove and sooner or later that's gonna bust oh heave ho Uh, back in there like so <sighs> I could have cleaned this up but I decided I'm not going to First procedure. Oh, come on. I freaking And then that back to that tool I had, use this end. It kind of has like a groove to where it'll put it underneath your spring and put it up on to where you want to latch it. And it will, if you don't pop it off.
Houston. Uh, eat right here for some reason. Why? I wonder if that's the... Let's have a new cylinder. That's what I'm thinking. That's it, that's it. Hmm. Let me think for a second here. Everything's correct. I know you guys will say something on comments which please do please do that uh, maybe crack the bleeder valve but as you can see so far that's how you change it wasn't too rough, dirty as heck, but what do you expect? It's a diesel. Um, but if you like the video, go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Don't give me the finger. Remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what you think, what you want me to do. Come up with some new content. But uh, we will see you on the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.